Makeup has been an interest for women since the beginning of time and until this day, as it makes them feel more beautiful and confident. This goes back to 180, where Greek and Roman women used to stain their lips with wine and the juice from berries to look more beautiful and feminine. This was the beginning of makeup, which developed over time and became an essential thing in daily life for a lot of women from all ages. This even includes children, as it became a trend for little girls to wear makeup from an early age. So, what do you think makeup is? It's a product that you use to look prettier, I think. <laughs> makeup is considered um, an enhancing of beauty. Research shows that a woman spends around $15,000 in her lifetime on makeup, which makes you wonder, why do women and children wear makeup? To make them look better, sometimes younger. It's part of the culture, actually. Makeup, you are beautiful, but I think that I feel more secure wearing makeup because it hides the skin problems, maybe pimples or scars or pores. A survey showed that 27% of children as young as 12 years old hardly ever leave the house without makeup on, which suggests that children of this generation are starting to change through their strong attachment to makeup. I to see if the generation is really changing, we did an experiment with four little girls and gave them the option to either play with toys or with makeup. Only one out of four chose to play with toys throughout the whole experiment, while the other three chose makeup instead. So we asked them a few questions. How do you know about makeup? Because I'm a makeup artist. I'm every day. Mama left us on a makeup so we can learn to use makeup. Are you beautiful with or without makeup? Makeup. I'm getting my full face. With makeup. When do you wear makeup? This gives an idea about how this generation is changing and why this trend is being seen a lot in our daily life as well as in social media where opinions about this trend vary between people, as some say it is cute, while some say it is disturbing. So what is your opinion? Are you with or against children wearing makeup? makeup. <laughs> Kids shouldn't be wearing makeup. At least after the age of 18, maybe they should wear makeup. Yeah, no, why not let her enjoy her beauty and do this girly stuff? Some people express that children wearing makeup can be a good thing and that it can have a positive effect on them. So, what do you think are the advantages of children wearing makeup? Makeup is considered as art. So um, it's an artistic way how to draw your liner, how to draw your lips, how to contour your face. It develops all these skills. I guess those who are applying makeup sometimes might feel more confidence than the others in certain situation. She looks happier, she, she refused to eat or drink anything, not to spoil her uh, lipstick. There are many opinions to the benefits of children wearing makeup, like the boost in confidence that they can get while wearing it, or the skills that they can develop as a potential future makeup artist. But at what cost? And is it really worth it? But I really wanted 
um, um, look pretty like you. But I, 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 I need but to But you have, look beautiful with but no you, makeup. You have skinny face. According to a 2013 survey, one in five girls who wear makeup between the ages of 8 and 18 years old are not confident with their look, and they feel unattractive without makeup. So they use it to cover up their flaws and imperfections. So what do you think are the disadvantages of children wearing makeup? المكياج بفقد الطفل الصورة الذاتية واحترامه لنفسه وتقديره لذاته لأنه أنا من خلال المكياج عم بستخدم المكياج حتى أرى نفسي جميلة فبالتالي بتصير في ربط لدى الطفل بأنه المكياج سبب من أسباب إظهار جمالي فبالتالي أنا لازم أزرع عند الطفل بأنه أنت جميل من غير استخدام اللي هي مواد التجميل المختلفة I think when kids wear makeup too early they look old and they look they don't look as beautiful as they think they are because they are beautiful just like looking naturally other than psychological effects, makeup on children can have a serious physical effect. A new research showed that more than 63% of 12 to 14 year old girls do not remove their makeup before going to bed, which increases the risks and dangers of skin damage on the long term. <laughs> أم طبعا مع كبر مع ممكن انه يطلع لهم حب الشباب فاذا هي بتبدا تستخدم هاي مساحات التجميل ممكن ياثر في بشرتها. I see a lot of contact dermatitis which is a case where will be allergy when you apply certain products. For example if a lady came and apply eye shadow some of the ladies like around less than 1% might develop contact dermatitis with allergy in the site where she applied the makeup. And children the percentage is higher because the thickness of the eyes lens is a bit thinner in the kids. So the absorption of the makeup material, whatever is the material, whatever is the brand is higher, so the risk of dermatitis or allergy is higher. يعني إذا بيستخدمك اليوم أكيد بتأثر يعني على على بشرة الطفل. So who is really responsible for influencing children to wear makeup? Research and findings show that family, peers, social media and reality TV are the main sources of influence on the child to start wearing makeup from an early age. In fact, a study shows that social media and reality TV portray an image of perfection, which makes little girls self-conscious about their appearance. Do you think that social media is affecting the way children wear makeup? negative <laughs> positive. People are all, not just kids, people are all influenced by makeup and by the social media and how much makeup do you put for every day. So each influencer has um, a percentage of how to affect kids on putting makeup. Well, that's actually true because you can see that we have some famous girl from one of the Gulf countries have more than like maybe one million followers. We had the makeup, we had the makeup. How did she say one? يعني <تصفيق> Don't make stupid people famous. So, should children be allowed to wear makeup or not? Uh, I have situations where kids come with me with uh, a birthmark in their faces. Like we could, in some cases we call it hemangioma, where it's just uh, red patches in their faces or near the eye. In those cases, actually, I advise to put makeup to cover those molds, to give more trust to the kids. خلى متاح ولكن قول لها قنن لها احنا يعني كعائلة ما نسمح حق الأطفال يحطون يحطون ميكب إلا في وقت مناسبة ومناسبة عودتكم. It is undeniable that children wearing makeup is something very true in our society, and no matter what the facts are, there will always be a great number of children who will keep wearing makeup, which can simply be just to have some fun. So, do you have any advice for children who wear makeup? حلو يحط الواحد. لياه المكياج أو البنت تحط مكياج بس مو بكثرة في مناسبة في عيد شوية يحاولون إنهما يراقبون عيالهم. To use it wisely 
in a simple way, not to put heavy makeup and not to use the adult makeup. إن لا يكون وايد يعني يحطون بروحهم يمكن يخترب وياهم يمكن وياهم حساس خل يعني إذا كبروا أو يعني خل يحطون يعني أختهم ولا أمهم ولا أي أحد عاد يحط لهم وما ما يحطون وايد يعني بس في المناسبات. In infancy, not to apply any makeup at all. And to start if needed or like in parties from five years old and above. And then to use a makeup removal directly after the party, not to sleep with the makeup. And choose the right brand which is suitable for the kid and apply the minimum amount. In conclusion, despite the benefits of children wearing makeup, there are more serious consequences that come with that, which can cause them more harm than they actually realize. So they can play and have some fun with makeup once in a while, but it shouldn't become an obsession, as a child is more beautiful with her innocence and not with her makeup. So live your childhood and enjoy it while you can, because you don't need makeup to be beautiful. ترى الكل حلو بدون مكياج يعني ما لدا يحطون مكياج. يعني أنتي حلوة مثل ما أنتي ما لدا يضيفين على روحك عشان تصيرين أحلى. They are beautiful just the way they are. They don't need makeup to look beautiful. Don't see what I see, but every time she asks me. To